from the historic Loretto Abbey Chapel. With the kind cooperation of the Toronto Catholic District School Board, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents The Daily TV Mass. Happy Easter. Welcome to the celebration of the Daily TV Mass. I am Father John Berteo. Televising of this Mass is made possible by the contribution from an anonymous donor from Pembroke, Ontario. This Mass is offered for peace in the world and for the lonely and the sick. Our thanks to the, our donor for making it possible for tens of thousands of faithful across Canada and around the world to share in this celebration that we begin with the sign of our salvation in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends in Christ, as we continue to celebrate the risen Lord in this Eucharist and of course at the Easter season, let's pause for a moment and ask him to forgive us our sins that we can celebrate with true, sincere, contrite and thankful heart. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, dear deceit for us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Together we praise God as we say, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. As we recall year by year the mysteries by which, through the restoration of its original dignity, human nature has received the hope of rising again, we earnestly beseech your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate in faith we may possess in unending love. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest and all who were with him, that is, the sect of the Sadducees, being filled with jealousy, arrested the apostles and put them in the public prison. But during the night, an angel of the Lord opened the prison doors, brought them out, and said, Go. Stand in the temple and tell the people the whole message about this life. When they heard this, they entered the temple at daybreak and went on with their teaching. When the high priest and those with him arrived, they called together the council and the whole body of the elders of Israel and sent to the prison to have them brought. But when the temple police went there, they did not find them in the prison. So they returned and reported, We found the prison securely locked and the guards standing at the doors, but when we opened them, we found no one inside. Now when the captain of the temple and the chief priests heard these words, they were perplexed about them, wondering what might be going on. Then someone arrived and announced, Look, the men whom you put in prison are standing in the temple and teaching the people. Then the captain went with the temple police and brought them, but without violence, for they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The word of the Lord. continually be in my mouth. My 
song makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord be with you. And your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. Indeed, God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Those who believe in him are not condemned, but those who do not believe are condemned already because they have not believed in the name of the only Son of God. And this is a judgment, that the light has come into the world and people love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For all who do evil hate the light and do not come to the light. So their deeds are not to be, are to be, are not, may not be exposed. But those who do what is true come to the light so that it may be clearly seen that their deeds have been done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I'm sure that you have heard a number of times the expression, I love you. It, it's one that's very commonly used mostly in North America or in pe people who do speak English. And sometimes it's used so freely that its meaning could just at times be watered down just a bit, maybe just to a certain degree. On the other hand, many cultures hardly use it that I know of at least, such as Portuguese. For example, I was positively, without question, sure that my parents loved me endlessly, yet they never said the phrase, I love you, at least in Portuguese. You see, in Portuguese, the translation is eu te amo, or I love you, eu, I te amo. It, 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 it's, it doesn't make well, it's too much, it's too mushy, <laughs> to say the least, too mushy, at least in those days. So we never really heard them saying too much at home, at home or even here later on, I love you. However, as when we came to Canada, over the years, our family got more integrated into the Canadian culture and eventually, as we grew older, we started saying to each other, 
I love you. At first it wasn't easy, but, and then it became habitual. It became a beautiful gesture that we started saying on a regular basis, as my family members say it all the time. Today, again, it's heard so many times between friends and so on, and especially, I love hearing it, when one spouse says that to another, I love you. Do you know that the love which passes the, the greatest joy and the happiness with which one could ever hope for in this life, and still speaking about love. See, the greater love that has surpassed all love is the one on the cross. You see, true lovers hold nothing back, but give the best that they can to be offered to the loved ones, including all they possess, even their own lives. God, God proved his love for each and every one of us by giving us everything he had, especially, especially his son, his son Jesus, his only begotten son who freely offered up his life for our sake as atoning sacrifice for our sins and the sins of the world. <laughs> what ideal love. I read one day this beautiful reflection that I share with you, and it states, the secret of the cross of Jesus is that he reached the perfect obedience out to his Father, giving everything to his Father's will. His whole life and ministry had been devoted to the Father's will, to establishing the Father's kingdom here on earth. Now, on the cross, it reached its highest point. Another quote, and this one from St. Augustine. God loves each one of us as if we, as if I or you were the only one to love. Now that, oh, that's love. See, God gives us the freedom to choose whom we, what, and when we love. Getting back to my family, my brother and I were very blessed for having such ideal parents who were very rich in, in love that they shared with us. Today, I too benefit from that love that was shown to me as a child and as I grew up, even until my parents went home to God. And today, I gladly share that love every time I celebrate the sacraments of the church, in particular in the celebration of the Eucharist, when I share the love that God has given me, and I share that with you through his body, his blood, and of course, his blessing at the end of the Mass. So speaking of blessing, let me share with you a little prayer maybe for you to think about as you go on the rest of the season, as you go on the rest of, this li of your life. I'll repeat it for you, but I'll start. Lord Jesus Christ, your love is better than life itself. May your love consume and transform my heart with all of these yearnings, fears, hurts, and concerns that I may freely desire you above all else and love others generously for your sake, for you and for your glory. Amen. One more time. Lord Jesus Christ, your love is better than life itself. May your love consume and transform my heart with all of these yearnings, fears, hurts, and concerns, so that I may freely desire you above all else and love others generously for your sake, for your glory, for your own love, until the end of time. Amen. Let us pray. The Sister Season, we offer our community prayer in thanksgiving for the new life that is ours in the risen Christ. 
May we be strengthened by his healing presence among us so that we might live in peace and glorify him by our life. We pray to the Lord. Lord For all who are struggling with their faith in being loved, wanting to be loved, that they to maybe open themselves to start loving others before they love themselves, because the beautiful way of going back and forth, we pray to the Lord. For the, telev- for the sponsors of the te- Daily TV Mass, and thank you for your intentions and for sharing your love with others, we pray to the Lord. Lord and to the ultimate love, to our prayers to go through Jesus, through Mary, we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary, Mother of our Savior, pray for us. sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <coughs> For the praise and glory of his name. For our duty to the glory of his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant we pray that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by worth, by worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifice of the, old, of the old to fulfillment, and in the reality of the cross, and by con- commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself to be the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For to your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things that make them holy, and you never cease to gather people to yourself, so, th- so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously we call these gifts to have brought you for consecration, that they may become the body 
and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his once resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all your saints, and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of a reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm with faith and charity your pilgrim to on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and Francis, our Bishop, the order of bishops, and all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you've summoned before you in your compassion. O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind and minister your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we're there to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of Jesus. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously God with peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's pause for a moment wherever you are, 
and think of someone you wish to be at peace with, and through the love of Christ, send him that peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter the my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ meet everlasting life. Please join me now in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in this holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I passionately desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my soul so that I may unite myself wholly to you, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those that you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go from the Eucharist in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. God bless you. Our thanks to our donor for the gift of this Mass.